I'm here again with Connie from the KC Cycling Shop in Car City in Kerry, Ireland. So uh, we are gonna play with the Mio Cyclo 210. Perfect. So yeah, I'm guessing this is a more simple version. Yes. It looks like a man, it's big. It is big, Huge. but you notice most of these ones now are bigger. Other brands would be would be this size or bigger. So so the that's the that's the standard size actually. That is kind okay. of the standard yeah, size. I never used one before, so it's my yeah. first one. Give it Okay, so cool. Uh, what I'm doing now, okay, well, let's go back to us. So what I'm doing actually is I'm gonna keep these with uh, Connie and the team here in, in the shop, and they're gonna be playing with uh, these th new gadgets we got, and they're gonna be putting it in one of these bikes they have over here, and that's it. We're, and then we'll be back in two weeks, I'm guessing. Two, two, two weeks. weeks, yeah. Yeah, and, well, and we'll weeks. get some uh, feedback. Sweet. <laughs> So this is the Mio machine and uh, so yeah do tell this is actually before you tell us so this is the Cyclo 2 210 Cyclo 10, yeah? yeah 210 uh, it's almost like a full phone almost it's, like it's basically it's a cycling computer cool. um, but it's a cycling computer with a slight difference in that most cycling computers would have a magnet here and a sensor here yeah. to pick up the readings this one is just the computer itself I've taken for a spin. Um, you need to play with it a little bit because okay. there's a lot in this. Uh, but once you get used to it, it is it is um, very simple. It's quite colourful, so it's when you're when you're cycling and you're cycling at speed, which this, you probably will be on this because it'll be more a racing bike. It's easy to see the numbers. It's easy to see what you're doing. Um, uh, you use it to download onto your computer. So you can you can build up a database of your your kilometer, how many kilometers you're doing, your time, the speed of, of, of your your of your spin and all that. So it gives the history of everything. It's got various functions, dashboard, navigate, history, surprise me, tracks, settings. Now, I didn't get a chance to go through all of them because there's a lot in it. And as I say, you kind of need to play with it a little bit first before you put it on the bike. But let's go through the history. I took it for a spin, so it's very easy on lock. So it's just a summary. I took it for a very short spin while ago. It was raining. I didn't want to get too wet. Hmm. So it gives you your average speed. It gives you your distance. It gives you your active time, your max speed, your altitude, your ascent, your descent, and the calories. So it gives all that. And it's, it's all touch control. So again, you don't want to be doing... 25 kilometers an hour on a bike and having to look and find things because you're going to end up over a ditch. Yeah. So what I like about it is everything is, is very, very visible. Nice. And it's, it's very, so you press that and once you start cycling, oh, there you go. So okay. this tells you everything. Wow, it shows it's you what detailed, you're doing. It? It's very, very detailed. So basically this is more for like the professional cyclists really. It's it's for the guy who's, who's probably doing a lot, a lot of mileage and, yeah. and doing a lot of training. Um, like the cycling around here is, is quite big, so yeah, guys around here would do the Ring of Kerry cycle, which is a, a 180 kilometer charity cycle that's run off in one day. Guys do that. There's over 10,000 people do it usually over 10, right, every year. People, yeah. When is it again? Uh, the first weekend in July every first year. Weekend, yeah. It's, called Ring it's, of it's just actually a very nice uh, cycle. A lot of friends did it. I didn't do it personally yet. It's on the books. <laughs> It's one of my bucket lists so <laughs> but um yeah if you're doing a lot of cycling like there's a lot of guys who try out they do triathlons around here so there's yeah. a lot of training this is ideal for that okay um so just to get this right you, you, this does not require as you said that the, the tag require a sensor the, or the or sensor so it actually does it does it yeah. all without the sensor yes. machine okay and you record wow. everything so once you get going once you get going you have a record function and everything. Okay. So you can record everything and then you download it all onto your computer. And as I say, you need a lot, you need a bit more time to kind of study this and find out all the bits. Okay, there's a better for learning curve to it. Yes, there okay. it is. So a quick run through this. So we did we did the dashboard already. Yes, yeah, so you have your settings, I suppose we were the first one. So your profile, so you put in your profile, you put in where you are, 
your routes. You can put in your own. Oh, it's got this GPS system yes. built into it. Okay. There's a managing function, the maps. When I try to put in where we, where I was, it has to find a satellite. So okay. It's, it's all GPS. So it took a while for that to happen. But once you get that, once it once it connects to exactly. some sort of GPS yeah. system. Um, I think where where am I? Let's try that. Riverview Car Oh yeah. So it brings you. You can zoom in or zoom out. So yes. there is a lot in it. So you, you want to play with it a little bit. You want to have a bit of fun with it and just yeah, see yeah. what it can do and what it can't do. It's like anything technical because I wouldn't be the most technical in mind. Um, tracks then is, you see, you have to download your own tracks. Or what cycles you do, where you go. Okay. You know, so let's say if you pick a track that's 70 kilometers, you can put it into this and you'll try and beat that every time you, you route. If you're if that's what you're into. Navigate, there's a lot of navigate now, this home. So you have to put in your home address and you press go and once you leave then it tracks your route as okay I so it presets a route that yes. it's almost like a sat nav in a it's sense but it's it's a bit it's, 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 it's pretty much a built-in sat nav yeah. for your bike yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay I think cool it's an excellent little, little, little piece of kit to be fair nice the two cable ties yeah and that's it Lost you go and very easy to attach oh look at that so you could actually just take it off because yeah, yeah for safety reasons yeah for so. safety reasons so some guy might like it and fancy it and take it home <laughs> nice very okay fair enough system. that's actually very easy it's very sturdy with the bad road, road it's still it's still sturdy it's sturdy in its cradle it's not going to yeah, fall out do you know i'm actually pushing hard guys yeah <laughs> the size is very good size as well you think so size is very good and as i say once you're sitting on the bike you're sitting on the bike you're going at 20 for me kilometers per hour it's a quick look down you press your button away you go yeah you yeah. don't have to look for everything or study yeah. everything because that's dangerous you don't want that so from that point of view it's very very good we, we install the, the, the bike computers basic bike computers we put them on and it, there's a bit of work to it because you have to make sure that your cables and all the cables here have to be tied in yes yes it's scrappy this is just two cable ties you yeah, yeah, like definitely you these sensors. You, don't, you, yeah. you you move away from the sensor, which yeah. is a huge yeah. selling point for this. Yeah, uh, it's retailing at around two hundred euros, one hundred ninety sterling pound. We see we'll be looking at then a hundred two hundred and thirty dollars maybe. Yeah, yeah, US. So, uh, what do you think of the price? I think I, I I can't say what it's like in relation to other similar type units. Yeah, but I think the price is. It's very reasonable. Really? For what I think it is. For okay, very is. good. That's interesting um, to know. As I say, it's very user friendly for a guy that's up on a bike and pushing himself hard, which most guys who get these will be pushing themselves hard because it's it's not just a hobby every Sunday for a cycle. These guys are, are doing miles. Yeah, day. yeah. For, for that guy, I think it's very reasonable. Especially when they buy a bike which is over 5,000 euros exactly. or something like that. Exactly. So, you know, <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we, yeah. we see that here in the shop, guys will spend X amount on the bike and then they'll buy a computer worth five or 10 euros and it's rubbish in the last five minutes. Yeah. For 200 bucks, yeah, yeah. very good value. So there you have it, everyone. Uh, this is the Cyclo 210 from Mio. Uh, Connie, thank you for being my host for uh, this uh, uh, video so yeah and uh, great job thank you have a Christmas everyone <laughs>